Hi there and welcome back to the Dark Queen of Kryn. I'm Byron and you're still in the hamlet of Hisden and are approached by townsfolk. Thank you stranger, you will always be welcome in our hamlet. I guess they're grateful that we helped them defy, defend against those sea dragons. A carpenter is working on the roof here. You pass a merchant driving a cart. No, we actually want to go to the north first. Because there's a tavern. We drink. There are small thi twigs and leaves in your drink which seem to help the flavor a bit. Okay, we talk. A fisherman says, I hear Trendemir is acting up again. Best to keep to ourselves. Who or what is Trendemir? It's probably a city or a state or something. Um, we talk again. A merchant mentions some minotaurs decided to explore the lighthouse. Last we'll hear of them. Is it dangerous? A barmaid tells you, there are too many strangers about, we should keep the gate locked. Hmm, by then you wouldn't do much trading here, would you? What is that? Okay, anything else? Nobody wants to talk to you. That's sad, we drink our sorrows away. A barmaid serves you a round of cool refreshing drinks and we leave. So that's pretty much all we can do. The temple... where was the exit? Oh, probably here. Leave the hamlet of Hisden? Mm, yes, we do. Gods congratulu as congratulate you as you leave. Thank you, heroes. May Miss Luxa reward your deed. And we are actually here. And this appears to be, appears to be the lighthouse. Let's go and check that out then. You glimpse the lighthouse tower of Luminari. Do you approach the tower? Sure thing. You're standing on a stone porch outside the great lighthouse tower of Luminari. The roar of the surf is loud in your ears. Above the large iron door float sharp fiery letters. Go away. Hmm. I don't scare easily. The door clangs shut behind you with a heavy ominous echo. In the dim light you see the blasted remains of stone walls all but covered with 100 years of cobwebs, dust and mold. So we encamp and save. And uh, area view. It doesn't work. Great. What do we have here? I really hate it that they turn off the area view. I mean, what is it too much to ask to give, you an, uh, to give me a map? Yeah, the heavy iron doors. You see spiders sucking at something. They scurry away as you approach. You glimpse something hurrying away. Okay. There's a pile of rubble here. The remains of what was once a staircase. Nothing else here. There's a poorly disguised hole in the floor to yourself. Okay, although it doesn't show on the screen here. The floor to the east is a simple illusion covering a gaping pit. It would be awesome if they would show it. Oh well. In the center of an immense spider web, there's a giant two headed orc kicking and struggling. Its two heads scream and curse. We could leave the thing in the web, we could put it out of its misery, or we could free the poor creature. I'm not freeing an orc. Kill it. You slay the helpless creature easily. Suddenly, you are attacked by spiders that have crept up all around you. Shit. Oh, god damn it. You annoy the fuck out of me. You yell. It doesn't work. Uh. Well, it's not much you can do. This one is that. You cast the late blast firewall right about now. 
Manual one, two, three, four. File. Luckily, it doesn't affect characters that are poisoned and lie on the ground. Um, you also cast a fireball. One, two, three, four. Good riddance. Okay, 3360 experience points. Um, we end camp. Magic. You cast a cure. Neutralized poison. On Genevieve Jolie. And she's unpoisoned now. And you also cast a heal on her. And a few cure light wounds. Oh, exit, exit. So let's take a look. Um, um, uh, I can't a look. Can't take a look at you. Why not? Now I can. You have an AC of minus nine, one d eight plus eleven, and an attack of zero. What would happen if you would use? Your mace and your shield. 1d6 plus 11 attack of 1, but our AC goes down to 14. That's not too bad if you ask me. So, we return to the north. The floor to your east is a simple illusion covering a gaping pit. Yeah, I know, and I don't care. So, But we can only be attacked from uh, the south now, so we encamp and rest. Your repose is suddenly interrupted. Enormous spiders and huge bats creep into the circle of light cast by your torches. Yeah, but you cannot surround us now. Sucks to be you. You cast a fireball. You delay for a moment. Let's see. One, two, not uh, here. One, no, here. I uh, maybe here. One, two, three, four. But. We don't need you. We don't need you. You could try and hit them. Uh. Uh. 
Hmm. Still seems to work nicely. Done and no. 3,533 experience points. We encamp and rest again. It doesn't work. Um, I guess they are, you know, a little resistant to learning. It takes a while till they realize that we're actually too tough for them. They are slow learners. Oh well. You delay. You yell. Wow. Take a look at them. You cast a fireball. Because why not? Manual. One, two, three, four. Now they're fleeing in panic. Huh. <laughs> Fine, we got. I think they got the message. You can't really flee, can you? Okay. Okay, I guess that's it. Wait, that's awesome. I wasn't aware of that. You can go somewhere, kill, and then hit escape, and go somewhere else and kill another one. That's great. Uh, 4,766 experience points. We fix and rest. Of course, they haven't learned yet. You, where are you going? You're stupid. You yell.
You delay. Would you be so kind and let my mage do something? Hey, my mages didn't do anything. Cast a delayed blast fireball. Manual. One, two, three, four. So this time saving doesn't help you because you still die. Oh, now they try to get away. Ha! Stunned! And we're done. Four thousand nine hundred experience points. Nice. We fix and rest again till they learn. Ah, maybe they learned now. Okay, moving on. Yeah, I know, it doesn't matter. The remains of a teleporter. Well, not so nice. Oh, here apparently we have a set of stairs that are still working. Nice. Uh, so we are facing to the west, which is probably a good thing. You are attacked by Athens and two-headed trolls, bellowing with rage. Have fun. Two-headed trolls. Manual. Let's take a look around. So there are a few to the south. Okay, that's probably it. They're just to the south. Oh, for fuck's sake, take a look at them. That's a lot. Okay. Um, what do we do? You move up here. Can't go there for crying out loud. You stay here. And guard. You actually move over here. Done and cast a fireball. Ah, let's cast a delay blast fireball. So let's see. Um, that should be cool. Thin out the crowd a bit. Nice. You yell. It doesn't work. You don't do anything. Oh, really? Uh. 
Okay, done. God. Can't get to them apparently. There's only one left. <laughs> God. No, it's two actually. Yeah, aim next target. Missed. You're not getting away. You should know that. Good riddance. No, thank you. What do we get? Oh, just steal. I don't need your steel. Fine, we exit then. No, I don't want it. So we are facing into western direction. That's probably a good thing. So we encamp and fix. Can we rest? Yep. The spiders no longer bother us. Hmm, moving on then. Okay, we have the pit here to the east. Let's not go there. It's annoying. Uh, what is that? Oh yeah, that's... Uh, really something. Um, if you move over here, you get teleported back. See? And we're here. I move into eastern direction and then I appear at that spot again and face to the south so that does not work here how very annoying what else could we do we could move down here and we are attacked by Athens and two-headed trolls again well that worked pretty well the last time you delay for a moment you delay you cast a delayed blast fireball. Manual. Let's see. Uh, where would it do it the most? One, two, three, four. Everybody's dead. Okay, fine. We found treasure. Oh, uh, you can keep your steel. That was easy, if you ask me. Hmm. Oh yeah, here's another um, teleporter. See, we go in here, and we're in that area again. Great. Um, so I think we want to go to the south here. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Oh, how bad. There's actually no way for us to go through here. Spiders and bats approach. But then flee! Because they wised up. Um. So we go to the south here. And to the south here. And there actually is another set of stairs that takes us to the third level. So uh, we save. And um, our view still does not work. So where are we? We are here. Yeah, and flee. Good night. So we could go in here. This must be the den of some vile creatures. They just got home. Oh, we are attacked by Athens and two headed trolls again. Fine. 
Uh, the party formation is fucked up. Uh, why are the mages in front? You don't want it to be like that. You yell. Yell. Done. Guard. You delay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's cool. It doesn't hit us. You cast. Um, one second thought. You could move a step back. And now cast. A delayed blast fireball. Because why not? Um, so they have 45 hit points. I don't really know how many hit points they have because I can't see them. Okay, uh, let's assume a two-headed troll is more dangerous than um, an Eton. One, two, three, four. There's another one. Twitter troll is partially healed. Uh, you were not hurt at all, but hey. Ah, uh, you end. You end. You end. Good night. Where are the second two-headed trolls? I only see Athens. Maybe the Athens get the same um, message. Oh yeah, that's something I wanted to do. Actually, I took a look at the weapons table in the menu and I found out a flail actually is better against large, uh, larger than man-sized creatures than a mace, so we will use the flail plus four from now on. God. Uh. 
Let's not continue the battle. Thank you. Um, that's pretty much it. 8,959 experience points. That's not too shabby if you ask me. So, what else could we do? Um, um, oh yeah, I take of course the jewelry and the gems. I will not take the steel though. No, I don't want it. So, what else could we do? Moving on into western direction. No, I wanted to go into western direction. Oh, it's a dead end apparently. How unpleasant. Fine, then let's head into eastern direction. And actually go up here. And here we have um, that pit again. Let's ignore it for now. And head up. No, not here. The stones of the floor shift under your feet. It's not a good sign. I hope there is not another pit um, forming up. So, what do we have here? You see an odd contraption of tubes, chains and wheels. Do you take it? Yes. We will take it. How about Reckl? Reckl, Darin has the contraption. Awesome. Anything else lying around here? No. Um, what do we have here? This is a storeroom piled high with bricks, mortar and other construction materials. We look around and find nothing else. There's treasure here, and a poorly disguised hole in the floor to the south. Do you take the treasure? Yes. Ooh, 2050 experience points. And we take... 4 jewels. And 10 gems. Not taking the steel. No, I don't want it. Keep it. Okay, let's ignore the hole. And we could probably um, return to where we came from. There's a passage to the east. There are dead spiders with their heads bitten off. Okay, um, this is where I came from. So if I move in here, okay, I still think I know where I am. There's a gnome sitting on the stairs pouting. Uh, we talk to him. I want my what dual cycle trans transit enhancer dual cycle transit enhancer I want it now the gno the gnome will talk of nothing else uh, we offer help give me my dual cycle transit enhancer give it to me do you offer the contraption oh apparently that's the thing he's talking about the gnome looks relieved and excited he takes a small hammer from a hidden pocket and taps on the Invisible barrier which shatters into a million of tiny pebbles. Now we slay you! Grabbing the contraption, he sets it on its wheels, climbs on top and pedals away down the dark passage. We gain experience. And climb onto the fourth level. This is where we'll actually take a break. And continue in the next one. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!